Hey y'all, Nerd in Texoma here with another review. And actually it's a uh, kind of building upon a previous one from a while back. Uh, previous review was the KO of the Optimus Prime Pen. And this is actually the official release or KO of the official one that Takara made in Japan. Now, I mean, you see he's looks like Optimus Prime. He's got the blaster, which is actually take the tip off, and it's the pen tip cap here closes off the pen and makes it look like his standard blaster there it's got you know all the look of optimus prime but in a pen form this guy i managed to catch the ko for five bucks he also comes with some accessories that the original official one did not like a shield here that actually holds refills for the pen i don't intend on using him as a pen anytime i just got it because i thought he was cool and since then They have made a KO of, I'm going to say the generic robot transforming pen that is a much simpler, much sturdier transformation than the Optimus Prime based off of the original, actual, legit transforming pen from Japan. Uh, he looks a little different, but I think he's pretty darn cool himself. I think stability-wise, he's a much, much better example than this Optimus Prime. And some of the details he has are much much better than the original Optimus Prime. Now this one, if I'm understanding the body right and the molding right, this was based off of a generic transforming pen that had like a clock built into the abdomen cavity there don't know why he would have a clock, but he did. This one, trying to catch the lights right there, but it's not too, too well. You can see on his chest windows there, it appears that he has some kind of cell shading and reflectiveness, which I think is cool. It's a detail that the official one knockoff that I have does not have. Also, you'll notice he has detailing on his feet, which again, the knockoff of the official does not have. Now this one does have the blaster for the pen, but it doesn't have that pen cap to it. As you can see, I mean, they're both roughly the same size. The knockoff of the official is slightly, slightly taller than the knockoff of the completely fake one. <laughs> 
there are differences, you know, because it's two different molds. So, you know, the abdomen and chest area are slightly different. The way they transform is different. But I think this one wins over this one like I say in stability in durability this one wins in accuracy to the official but eh I just use them as little decoration bots and stuff like that you know you can see trying to get my fingers out of the way but they're kind of small guys so I mean it's kind of hard to do the one on oh it's in my left hand <laughs> this one doesn't have as much of like the molded panel detail on the legs it's simplified he doesn't have all of the movable hip skirt pieces that the official does. They both do have similar arm movement and positionability, poseability. Uh, the KO of the official one, the one here in my right hand, I don't like it because, I mean, I, I do like it, but I don't like the durability, the quality of it, and it may be just because it's a knockoff. Uh, the head seems to pop out too easily, and all of these hip skirt panels here get in the way. I mean, it just doesn't need it. The upper torso, in transforming it, doesn't have anywhere to peg in. And again, it may be just because it's a knockoff. But if you move him around, you'll see, you know, the torso slides around and it's kind of sloppy and stuff like that. Eh, this unofficial KO third party of a third party transforming pen altered into Optimus, I think is better. Because for something this small, in my opinion, the more moving parts you have, the messier it is the more likely you're going to have floppy parts in it and everything. This one, yeah, okay. That arm is kind of loose. That arm is not. Happens in knockoffs, happens in official products. You know, that I'm not going to count off for. You know, the legs don't really move a lot <clears throat> if at all really <laughs> you know, he's very limited on what he can do he doesn't even have a head swivel I mean his head he's totally stuck looking forward forever you know, there's no no waist swivel you get a little bit of movement in the leg. You get a lot of movement in the ankle there because that is what actually holds the pen part when you transform them into a pen. And then, you know, this goes up here to cover his head. That's it. That's basically all of the moving parts in this one and I think it makes it much better much sturdier than the knockoff of the official 
Uh, as far as I know, this one's not available online or on AliExpress anymore. This is the knockoff of the official. Uh, like I said, when I got it, it was about five bucks. Maybe you can still find it somewhere online if you're interested in it. Might be around that price. I don't know. It's five bucks and like two bucks shipping or three bucks shipping, something like that. This one is currently on AliExpress. And it's about... I think 350 375 and two bucks shipping so about five bucks whereas like I say that one cost about eight if you're looking for an Optimus Prime pen or a transforming robot pen I think this is your better deal <laughs> I mean these are just in my opinion, novelty items, yes, it does write as a pen should, but it's not the most comfortable pen to write with. Neither of them are. I just get them because I think they're neat little robots that transform into something that we don't normally see. <laughs> or we... We see pens every day, but I'm saying we don't see transforming pens. So, in my opinion, the complete knockoff is the winner over the knockoff of the official. But, hey... They both serve their purpose. They're both pretty darn cool. They're both fairly inexpensive. So, if you can find that one for under 10 bucks, jump on it. Get it. It's cool. If you can find this one for about 5 to 8 bucks. Again, I think this one is the superior one. Get it. I think they're pretty cool. Pretty unique in what they are. And I enjoy them both. Alright, y'all. Take it easy. Nerd and Texoma. Bye.